Hello, it is Monday, July 31st, 2023. I'm Chris Primo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday crossword today, which means it should be a very approachable puzzle and it will have a theme. And this very approachable themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Lake the Lake House Bros. Um, let's see, Overfull Hitbox, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the Indomitable Shoalmaster and the Incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are uh, bringing us this series, sustaining this channel. For that, I am incredibly grateful. Thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who is a patron. I really do appreciate it. And if you would like to support the channel in that manner yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve. Click the link in the description field, and uh, there you'll find the bonus videos as well as for... Um, uh, benefactors, also the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug. So do uh, investigate that. There's a link in the description field. I think, as I said, maybe <laughs> seem to be just slightly discombobulated today. In any case, thank you to all of the patrons. And thank you to everybody who's, who's subscribed to the channel on YouTube. That is a big help. So go ahead and do that if you've not gotten around to it. And uh, finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server. You can join that via a uh, description field link as well. And it's a nice, friendly chat community. So consider that. And now let's get on to the crossword. This is a collaboration between David Littman, um, whose debut this is, first puzzle for him, and Andrea Carla Michaels, for whom this is very much not a debut. I think over either other, over 50 or over 80, I think over 80 puzzles that she's constructed. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what these two have in store for us today. A reference point for nighttime navigation, I assume would be a star. That would be the most obvious choice. A Serb, Slovene, or Slovak. Those are, are Slavs, um, uh, Slavic peoples. Um, Sci-fi hero Luke Skywalker from, from Star Wars. And a paper towel roll left over would be the tube at the center of the, the roll. Something similar to something else is akin to it. Part of a round trip would be the return leg of the trip. Tennis great with a sister who's also a tennis great. That would be, of course, Venus Williams, sister of Serena Williams. Comically packed circus vehicle would be a clown car. And it just occurred to me, sorry, that this is... I wonder if we're dealing with astronomical bodies, maybe, because we did have star up here, which I don't think is part of the theme, but it might have been a nice little initial clue because we have Venus. I mean, we could have... We do have a... Uh, a revealer being highlighted here. I don't know if I should read it or not. Um, I'll leave it for now. Okay, trim is a photo. You could crop a photo to trim it down, adjust its dimensions. Uh, volcano output is lava. Actor Epps, Omar Epps is an actor. And let's look at these downs. We have another actor, Rami Malek of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, which I never saw despite absolutely adoring the band Queen. I sort of, I don't know, sort of... <laughs> Worried to see it because I was um, sort of heard they maybe overplayed some of the interpersonal conflicts between band members. Uh, speed, speed skating track shape is an oval. Ward after beauty or pizza, uh, beauty parlor or pizza parlor. Ye old shop with the with that trailing, that sort of archaic trailing E as well as uh, the doubled P and trailing E on shop as well. And then our old uh, the... Um, progenitor in, I mean, it wouldn't actually be pronounced ye, but uh, the, the old shop. All right, sick. If one's sick, one's ill. Provoked is what you goaded somebody, maybe you provoked them. Casper is a friendly one. Casper is famously a friendly ghost from the children's stories. And if one adds two cents, one's, one chimes in, adds one's opinion speaks up. Atoms with charges are ions. Ions are charged atoms. And if you pose as a question, if you pose a question, you ask that question. So there we go. Extra periods in sports and brief could be overtimes. And let's check the crosses here. Toodles could be chow. You're saying goodbye. And sounds from a sty could be oinks. Sound from, sounds from a pigsty would be oinks. All right, let's keep going. If one sought political office, one ran for office. And if you give into gravity as a roof uh, well, it gives into gravity as a roof sags. The roof sags, it's giving into gravity. Okay, British royal crowned in May 2023 would be King Charles III. There we go. So what is the connection here? We have 
Venus Williams, King Charles III, Venus King, something about around that. I don't really, don't really quite get it. All right, artist Frida, renowned for her self-portraits, Frida Kahlo is a famous um, artist who who did indeed paint self-portraits. Strand as during a blizzard, you could be iced in, stranded in a blizzard. And tic-tac-toe is a game that was somewhat in my mind yesterday and caused me to, for whatever reason, and caused me to uh, incorrectly fill in the grid, and then I had to hunt down my error. That seems to have happened to quite a few people yesterday, thinking of either tic-tac-toe or the mince tic-tacs, when the proper answers were uh, what tit and tit for tat, or tit and tat. Okay, cry on a roller coaster. We, you might cry. It's very exciting. Twas the night before Christmas begins the um, famous uh, Christmas time verse. And it's alive, classic Frankenstein line. I remember reading Frankenstein, the book, when I was very young. And my recollection of it is that it, I, I found it very baffling because it was, I think it was, I think it's an entirely epistolary novel. So it's told through letters and diaries. I don't, I don't remember exactly. I was a child when I read it and I found it completely, I don't think I'd ever read anything written in that style before. I mean, at that age, I mean, why would I have? And I found it incredibly off-putting somehow. <laughs> I found it very difficult to sort of penetrate through that kind of, I don't know, literary device. And uh, that's, that's mainly what I remember about the book Frankenstein. Anyway, the reason I bring it up is because I wonder, I, I assume the phrase it's alive doesn't come from the book, but maybe it does. I don't know. I always assumed it came from one of the early filmed adaptations, but that could be completely wrong about that. Someone will tell me now, now that I've brought it up. Uh, Stairs said to inflict curses. The uh, evil eyes, you know, the evil eyes said to inflict a curse. Right, here's another one of these. First Latina justice, successor to David uh, Sauter's uh, Sonia Sotomayor. Oh, am I going to spell her name incorrectly? This looks right to me. Is this an A or an E? Podcast host Marin. Oh, right. Okay, I've never actually listened to this podcast, but I know that Mark Marin has a very famous podcast, interview podcast. Okay, so so this was correct. I, I'm going to have to look at the revealer. I'm just confused about what's going on here. Uh, words before legal action or what one might exclaim to 1924 and 45 across. Um, oh, something about the court, because we have the tennis court, a royal court, and the Supreme Court. Wow. Okay. So, so what is that? Words before legal action. May it please the court or... Uh, I'll see, see, see you in court. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I wish I would have been able to get that immediately that they were court related. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to jump to see you in court without this revealer, obviously, but yeah, it would have been good to observe that they were all sort of members of a court or, or have professions that in some way involve the court. Uh, but there we go. That's, that's the answer. So let's finish the puzzle. AMC's Better Call Saul. Great, great show. Shade of color could be a hue, a tint of shade. Group of showbiz elites could be the A-list, sort of A-list celebrities. Rider's handful, the reins. You literally hold the reins if you're riding on a horse-drawn carriage or sleigh or something. Keanu Reeves' role in The Matrix is the character Neo. For-profit institution. Um, seminary? Why would that be the case? For profit. I mean, because in a seminary you would maybe study the lives and work of religious prophets. I don't quite understand. I mean, I sort of I get that seminary and prophet are both sort of religiously inflected, but I don't quite exactly understand the clue. Maybe it's not seminary. Maybe it's something else. To come off as something is to seem that way. Fury could be ire. Okay, it really does look like seminary, doesn't it? What am I missing? I'm probably missing a very easy way to read this. Um, I don't know. Worker welfare organization is uh, OSHA, which is the um, sort of occupational safety uh, government branch and then or agency. And then if I had a nickel, you could say to wishing aloud, previously owned, um, used, of course, 
Edward Blank, poet who wrote The Owl and the Pussycat. That was Edward Lear, I'm pretty sure. Does that work here? Yes, it does, because Peter of Lawrence of Arabia is Peter O'Toole, one of the absolute great film performances in one of the absolute great pieces of cinema. Just an amazing film. It's sort of one of those films like uh, Citizen Kane, where it's kind of got, it's turned into a cliche because people always say, oh, it's so great, but then you watch it and it actually is genuinely, genuinely an extraordinary piece of cinema. All right. Exam for an as aspiring attorney would be LSAT, the law school admissions test. I think as simply as that, as someone once pointed out to me. Painting studio stands are easels on which you would uh, rest your canvas. Material for LPs is uh, vinyl, of course, records made out of vinyl. Hair salon sound would be the snip, snip, snip of the uh, scissors. If one weeps, one cries. TiVo Forerunner is a VCR, so I remember recording things on VCRs. And what I did much more of was recording radio onto cassette tapes. That I did a huge amount of. Emulates Snoop Dogg or Doja Cat. Oh, that's funny. Doja Cat, I think the first time I ever saw this name, uh, this rapper's name, was in a, a New York Times Connections puzzle a week or two ago, maybe. Anyway, if you emulate either Snoop Dogg or Doja Cat, you um, one raps. And then nest egg fund and brief is IRA for an um, individual retirement account. Here we have Tower of London guards are yeomen, the, I think... Yeoman Warders, I think is their full name. They're the, the beef eaters that you would, they have that recognizable kind of ornate red dress. And they will, they do indeed show you around the Tower of London if you, if you visit it. Um, I think the Yeoman, the, uh, what is it? The sort of exchange of the keys or something that happens in the Tower of, something that they do when they, when they lock the Tower of London and sort of officially pass the keys. And I think is the oldest continually, uh, kind of practiced military ceremony in the world in the sense that it's been, you know, done every, every night for however long, I think maybe except for maybe even during the blitz in the second world war, I can't remember. They might've stopped it for a couple days then. Anyway, uh, CT scan alternatives are MRIs, magnetic resonance imagery. And to strongly encourage someone or something is to urge it. Fixes as a carnival game, you could rig a game. General Tso's chicken uh, is, a, is a dish. That was in the, I think that dish was referenced in yesterday's crossword as well. Oh, whoops, yeoman. Oh, right, sorry. I didn't properly parse the Tower of London guards is plural. I put my answer in a singular. So it's yeoman, not yeoman. Um, not that you pronounce it that blatantly in either case. Just for emphasis, uh, frozen waffle brand is, an, is ego. And then Elliot of the Untouchables, Elliot Ness, so the, the famous famous lawman who was depicted in the film, The Untouchables. And I, I guess his sort of crew was called The Untouchables. All right. State whose famous, whose license plate read, license plates read famous potatoes. Idaho is known for its potatoes. So that would be the answer. I'm sure. Prefix with continental or faith. Intercontinental or interfaith. You could have sort of intercontinental, uh, I don't know, trade or something, or you could have an interfaith initiative between religion, religious denominations. Failed to, if one failed to do something, one didn't do it. And great detective of Kidlet, Nate the Great. I do remember reading Nate the Great books as a child. He really enjoyed pancakes, as I recall. Um, Haw's partner is ham, as in to ham and haw, to dither. And then a tabloid twosome could be a celebrity item. Maybe two people within the A-list are, are dating. And uh, at the... Yes, that's the solution. So that was the Monday crossword. It was indeed a nice, I think, fairly nice and simple crossword. Obviously, you had to know the names of these people, Venus Williams, King Charles III, and Sonia Sotomayor, in order to fill those answers in. But then once we did, the revealer makes sense. It's one of these these puzzles where you don't need to um you don't need to know understand the theme in order to fill out the individual answers, uh, which is common on a Monday. And I didn't even pick up on what connected these people, unfortunately. Let me know if you did. I'd be curious to, to know how early someone got that. Maybe after two of them, that would be quite impressive, I think. Anyway, that was the Monday puzzle. I'm going to move on now because I don't have much time, but I do want to read the, the uh, comments about clues from yesterday's puzzle. So let's do that quickly. I think there are only two to read here. 
So Stephen Giblin pointed out, I never returned to 10 down, which was the clue that read something like, no one ever got fired for buying blank. The answer, which I must have filled out purely through crosses, was IBM. And Stephen Giblin says, no one ever got fired for buying IBM because of its reputation for being the most reliable or best software in the early days of computing. So there we have it. And I have heard that phrase, I think, now that I now that it's been pointed out to me, absolutely in no way remembered it yesterday. Not even close. Wasn't was not even close to being on the right track. Uh, Stephen goes on to add, I'm a little surprised Chris didn't seem to recognize the well-known Rose Parade in Pasadena, California. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard of the Rose Parade. I don't uh, I don't think I was aware of its association with Pasadena in particular. All right. And Kathleen Quinn explains, Chautauqua is an adult education and social movement in the United States that peaked in popularity in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, named after the community of the same name on the shores of the lake of the same name in New York. Uh, Chautauqua assemb assemblies, often presented in a summer camp format, expanded and spread throughout rural America until the mid-1920s. The Chautauqua brought entertainment and culture for the whole community, with speakers, teachers, musicians, showmen, preachers, and specialists of the day. So there we go. I was not familiar with that. Thank you for that short little history lesson there. And that is it. Those are the two, I suppose, corrections and extra context from yesterday's puzzle. And that means that's that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back tomorrow for what should be a relatively similarly approachable Tuesday themed crossword. So do join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.